The 2021 NBA draft class was viewed as one of the strongest in recent memory, and it's largely lived up to the hype. The top four of Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green, Evan Mobley, and Scotty Barnes remains full of promise. Josh Giddy has dazzled with his slob wizardry. Franz Wagner is everybody's favorite player to tell people how much they love, and the class is full of standout sleepers. Alperon Shengun, Cam Thomas, both Trey Murphy and Herb Jones of the Pelicans, and in his own way, even Kai Jones is a big name from the 2021 draft. But you probably hadn't heard a lot about Jalen Johnson. The 20th pick in that draft of the Atlanta Hawks, who barely saw the floor as a rookie, found his way to the fringe of the rotation last year, and now is having a huge winning impact and looks like a future star. Johnson is the sort of versatility that makes modern NBA teams drool on both sides of the ball, blending athleticism, skill, and IQ in a rare fashion for a third-year player. Offensively, he's at his best in transition, a great athlete in the open floor who can get behind defenses without the ball and deliver thunderous finishes above the rim, but he can also sprint to the corner where he's been excellent or knock down an above the break three as a trailer. He can push the tempo himself at six foot nine as a comfortable ball handler and can really create for teammates. Just look at this jump pass over a defender hitting his man perfectly in stride 40 feet down the court. He's a very heads-up outlet passer, loves throwing up lobs in two-on-one -on -one situations, and is generally a much better passer than the raw assist numbers indicate. Whatever role you need Johnson to fill in transition, he'll do it very well, and that's a microcosm of his entire game. In the half court, Johnson's biggest improvement has been his three-point shooting, which was a legitimate weakness in his game for his first two seasons as he shot just 28% from deep. But he came into this preseason with a smoother release and a softer touch on his jumper. And by the way, he looked so good in the preseason, I mentioned him as an outside candidate to win most improved then. And that's carried into the regular season, as he's now shooting 44% from beyond the arc. The value of that spacing alone is huge for a Hawks team that had to work with a non-shooting center in Clint Capella and a seriously struggling John Collins as their front court last year. And when you're playing with a creator of the caliber of Trey Young, you're gonna get good catch and shoot looks. And Jalen's cashing them in at an elite clip. But Jalen is far from just a shooter off ball. He's also an excellent closeout attacker. He's decisive as a driver and attacks angles well. Here you see he's already in motion at the point of the catch to attack the defender's back foot. And he's physical coming downhill, more than comfortable dishing out bumps and chicken wings on the way to the bucket. And in that paint, he's such a great vertical athlete at his size that he can get above the rim in situations you would not expect. And he gets so much hang time that he can make some really impressive adjustments midair. A big reason he's shooting an elite 74% in the restricted area this year. And when he can't get all the way to the rim, Johnson's an impressive short-range touch shot maker, having shot over 55% on floaters since the start of last season, and he's very comfortable taking a bump and then hitting this short fallaway jumper, sometimes one-legged. Overall, Johnson's mid-range pull-up game accounts for just a small part of his shot diet, but it's very smooth, and he's a perfect 5 of 5 for mid-range this year. So, as a play finisher, he's really multi-dimensional, and you can take all those same skills and weaponize Jalen as a screener, where he can roll hard and climb the ladder on lobs, he can pop, or make reads as a short roller in 4-on-3 situations, where he does a good job of engaging the help defender and then hitting the big in the dunker spot. This is nice poison anticipation to avoid a charge and dot up Capella, and it's always an asset when your roller can also playmake. That same passing IQ makes him a guy the Hawks trust to run handoffs through or to execute their designed actions. This this is some great timing and placement on this bounce pass, and Johnson's something of a slob wizard himself. He loves finding bogey on these inbound lobs when defenses are sleeping, and that's rare IQ and passing accuracy for a 6'9", 21-year-old. And he's comfortable throwing lobs in any situation, so much so that he's able to sell a convincing fake here to open up an easy layup. He can also work on cleanup duty around the rim as a solid offensive rebounder, and has solid feel as a cutter, where that explosive athleticism helps again. So. Every complimentary trait you would want from a big forward on offense, he provides. He can really shoot, really finish at the rim, or kill you with short to mid-range shot making, and if you send help or miscommunicate defensively, he can make you pay with his passing. People describe him as having point guard skills sometimes, but he's never going to run your offense for extended stretches. And that's perfectly fine. A relatively low usage player who can score with elite efficiency, playmake, and complement their best player in multiple ways is something every team in the NBA benefits from greatly. 
that's what Jalen does. In fact, he's the third most efficient 15 point per game scorer in the NBA this season with an excellent 68.5% true shooting. But Johnson's versatility stands out on the other side of the ball too. He's capable of handling difficult perimeter matchups and sticks with smaller guards well as a good lateral mover for six foot nine who does a great job of using his body to cut off driving angles, making the most of his size and physicality advantages. He can also challenge bigger, more bruising wings. He doesn't have elite strength, but he's not easily moved off his spots and that seven foot wingspan comes in handy to challenge jumpers. And the value of that matchup versatility has very much been on display in two games against the New York Knicks this year, as both Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle have really struggled to score on Johnson, shooting a combined one of nine on isos and post-ups against him. Johnson's also a positive as a team defender. He has good hands that allow him to strip players on ball, but also to affect pocket and interior passes. And when he forces turnovers, it only feeds into his greatest offensive strength out in transition. He's also been extremely effective as a rim protector this season, where his size, length, and bounce all work to his advantage, and he has excellent timing, which allows him to stifle players on ball, provide effective help, and recover from his own mistakes. Here, Maxi catches him flat-footed, but this block looks routine for Johnson against one of the league's craftiest scorers. Remarkably, of the 30 players to defend the most shots inside of six feet this year, nobody has held opposing players to a lower field goal percentage than Johnson. Now, maybe that won't hold up, but Johnson is a good backline defender who can handle versatile perimeter matchups, and that is a great asset to any team. So, take the totality of this multifaceted impact on both sides of the ball, and you've just got a winning basketball player, and the numbers reflect that. Nobody has improved the Hawks by more when they are on the court versus off it than Jalen. In fact, it's not even close. And Johnson's plus 18 on off mark dwarfs that of any of his peers in his class. And although the sample size is of course still small, that number is close to what we've seen from Nikola Jokic these past few years. And when Johnson's out there, Atlanta plays as an elite team, something none of the other starters can claim. Of course, his life on offense is made a bit easier by playing with Trey, and he has the benefit of playing alongside good rim protectors like Capella and Okongwu defensively, and he does still have room for improvement. He can make mistakes as a driver, his handle isn't the most polished in traffic, unexpected ball pressure on the perimeter can cause him to shuffle his feet, and he can get caught up in the air without a good plan against bigs. And that's part of the reason his turnover numbers are a bit higher than you'd like given his role, but I'd say that's more due to overly audacious passing, which does need to be dialed back a bit, although I mostly like the instinct of aggressive playmaking. But those flaws really aren't a big deal. He handles and playmakes very well for a six foot nine guy in his third year. He just needs some refinement there. And when I compare him to a classmate of his like Josh Giddy, somebody who the ringer and ESPN agreed was somewhere from a top 55 to 65 NBA player coming into this season, it's not close who I'd rather build around. As great as Giddy's playmaking is, show me the truly successful example of a player who isn't a high level athlete, can't shoot and is therefore a brutally inefficient scorer and struggles to defend. You're going to be searching for that example for a long time, even versus Jalen Green, the dazzling volume scorer who does so with mediocre efficiency in defense and below average playmaking is not a successful archetype. And I'm not saying he's destined to become that and he's shown improvement defensively coming from a real rough place last year, but there's a very real chance that's who he ends up being. But the hyper athletic big wing who can shoot, score very efficiently, playmake, handle, and defend on the perimeter and interior, that dude is going to help you win in a big way. Look at Aaron Gordon right now. Other dudes may put up bigger numbers, but that's as good a number three as there is in the NBA today, and he just played a huge role in a title run. And that's what I have the utmost confidence in Jalen Johnson doing. Maybe he makes an all-star team down the line. Maybe he doesn't have the raw numbers to get that sort of nod. But his impact will be undeniable, and it already is.